I do some work for Monster High and Ever After High. And one of the characters that I did for Ever After High was a, a little character named Maddie Hatter. Time to get our madness on! And they kind of let me do all of this. It's tea time! The other thing that I did, I did a character on Monster High. They brought me in to do um, the, the sons of, of Jekyll and Hyde. And Jackson was kind of this, you know, he was a nerdy normie. And then whenever he heard music, it was, hey, 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 it's hold hide on the wheels of steel. Yeah! Which brought in my musical stuff. <laughs> when they heard me do it, they were like, you know, what's your take on this? And I'm like, well, he's James Brown. You know, let's let him be James Brown. And they were like, boom, done. Well, I think Amy in her present form is very similar to me. She's a caretaker and she's motherly, which, you know, most of the time people think of me as just tough, but I'm kind of marshmallowy. <laughs> and <laughs> it's hard because Amy is the straight man. I mean, when you're talking about a comedic sense, you know, she's Dean Martin to, to Jerry Lewis, to Sonic's Jerry Lewis. And so it's tough because they, they had a hard time making her character. They have been so terrific this last round about saying, you know, what are your thoughts? What what do you want to do? What are, you know, what do you think Amy would would be passionate about? I ended up meeting the lawyer uh, for Fleischer Studios who got the copyright back. And he saw me in a couple of musical theater shows and he said, you're the real deal. And he's like, when are you going to be in New York next? And I went, two weeks. And he said, okay, well, I want you to go and meet the people at King uh, Features. And I went, okay. And so I walked in and you know, this guy was behind a desk and he's like, yeah, what do you, what do, you do? And I'm like, well, um, I want to be loved by you, just you and nobody else but you. And he goes, oh, hey, you sing? And I went, yeah. And I've been doing... Betty, uh, I've done it for games. I've done it for slot machines in Vegas. If you go to any of the slot machines in Vegas, that's me. My dad got to hear that. He was thrilled. I got a letter from somebody who said, I have Asperger's. And you being Labrys was the first time that I ever thought that anybody in the entertainment industry understood what I was going through. And when you cried, I cried because I am inside of myself trying to get out. And that, I mean, does it get any better than that? And you start from that and then you add a, an accent or a lisp or a speech impediment or, you know, a, a cadence. 